Okay, uh, welcome back. So, um, I think we're gonna declare this war on the, uh, the Countess of Macon. Alright, raise the armies. And down here, see if we can... Unfortunately, I declared this in the winter, so not exactly ideal, but... Much more bloody battle than I thought it would be. Alright, let's just see if we can... Oh, sweet. Got a new perk. This shouldn't take too long. It's only seven months, which is pretty good. Um, we're probably going to have to siege down their ally in order to... They are having a lot of babies, aren't they? We're, gonna, we're probably going to have to siege down Shalone as well. Shalon, Shalone, I don't know. I don't speak French. Ugh. Um, I, I'll eat the stress this time, because I don't really want cynical. Cynical's not the most pleasant trait, you know? It looks like they really want to fight me. Should be fine. Again, bit more of a rougher battle than I'd like. Right, come on, speech this, please. Thank you. Uh, looks like we took a prisoner. All right, force demands. Band. All right. So unfortunately, we are still over, we're way over our limit now, but um, we're gonna have to wait a little in order to get enough money to um buy our buy the title or form the uh, form the title of Duke of Burgundy. Okay, I know there's a way to get, m at least I thought there was, there was a way to get money from your bishop guy. That's not it. Alright. Grant. Low county control, yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, you know. Get a little bit of money. Okay, this is... This is our daughter. Uh, let's go ahead and have our wife do that. Probably go ahead and sway our wife again. Uh, only a point flip if it's going to work. Go ahead. Educate child. Uh, we can lose this. 
our Corcher. Let's do that then. Why not? Okay. Um, raising control there is done. Go ahead. Have them raise control in Makon as well. I'm curious as to, I guess, yeah, if this guy bends the knee to Kingdom of, uh, the King of West Francia, then sure, makes sense, I guess. I'm surprised this guy is still, you know, alive. Excellent, we do like to see uh, hamlets constructed in places. I think the level two of that is quite helpful. Um, don't, we don't want to spend any money right now. Uh, we need to get some money. So we need 250 gold. We going to take a little bit of time. I've seen in a few times where the Kingdom of Burgundy actually got spit out of Lothringia. Like, I know that happened primarily while I was up in Wales. I was doing a Wales campaign. Oh, I'm a little surprised that actually hasn't happened. Looks like... So usually these darker areas means that... Um, uh, that it's under rebellion. Alright, we're almost there. And that should also give us an extra holding. Oh, our uh, counselor has died. Let's see. Okay, so this is our vassal. This is another mayor. Um, Marshall. Okay, our steward. Actually, this is our mayor, and this is another mayor. Um,. Let's assign this guy, because he's actually, he's actually, you know, average at it. Yes, I know, I want to create the Duchy of Burgundy. Can't quite do it right now. Okay. Like another faction created an inappropriate exchange. Eve seemed to enjoy her, our latest feast immensely. Afterwards, she couldn't stop talking about the feelings that locking eyes with one of the younger servants had caused in her. Oh, the young rascal's coming of age, isn't she? So she becomes lustful. Notice how true value lies in the expensive trappings of power. Um, loses lustful, gains greedy... Or, I will show her how to make friends at a feast. Become gregarious. And lose lustful. Um, I'll take this one. I know it causes stress and it's never ideal. But. Oh, nice. Alright, this one. The supply capacity is not bad. Sway compliments. All right, make my wife Countess Clementia uh, more susceptible to my attempts at approaching her. I can include a compliment in my next missive to her court. 
Uh, I will be sure to mention her. Alright, let's see. She's greedy, honest, fickle, thrifty clerk, and she's quick. Um, pretty average stats all around. Uh, clear rationality. Um, unshakable faith in God. Forgiving nature. I will keep it short and professional. Um, go with clear rationality. He is quick, so been a source of joy for me. I cannot help but think that we might both benefit from increased communication. Nice. So yeah, um, it's not guaranteed, obviously, but try and try and sort of. Um, figure out what would be the best reaction or best uh, approach based off of what their stats and what their traits are. That's usually that's usually what I do, and it seems to work most of the time. Countess encourages chivalry. Nice. Gave us a little bit of prestige. Okay. Two, three more months. One more month. Could be. What do we. Doesn't seem to happen on the monthly tick. Odd. Uh, Alright, sweet. We should be good to get the title of Duke of Burgundy. Create that. Get some prestige. Now, what if I thought being a duke would have given us something? But if not, then I'm going to go ahead and grant this to someone. Hopefully. And deceitful. Need someone who's not a vassal already. Patient, passionate, ambitious. Uh, we don't want ambitious. Although you know, King is a uh, um passion. I'm going to go ahead and grant that title. So that takes us down by one, which is good. Um, Alright, so let's take a look here. This thing is making us 0. 0.7, 0. 0.61, and 0. 0.37. We might want to consider giving away bourbon. Thinking that's the one if we if we do give away anything, it will be that. Um we could give this to yeah, let's go ahead and give this one to our son. Our our second son, exactly. Um, okay. We do have a hook on our son here. Where's partition? Vassal cannot have any succession law be on partition. Vassal switches their succession law. Partition, the vassal pays. More prestige to change the laws. Um...
I think we're fine for right now. Changing laws tends to result in uh, tyranny, which is not never necessarily bad, as long as it's, you know, a reasonable amount. Nice. See that income growing. So good. All right. So since we are now the Duke of Burgundy, um, the king is willing to uh, give us um, uh, our own vassals. Um, so we can go ahead and accept that and consolidate our area. So unfortunately, this guy still owns these two provinces and Anjou, uh, this Anjou guy. Or, or this girl. Our, our cousin, she looks ugly. <laughs> Curious. Uh, traits does she actually have? Bell is just an equip bargainer. Some of these models, I. Ugh. Or against the tyranny of King Charles. Well, I'm glad that he gave me uh, the, the province before um, getting his himself uh, declared on. Oh, wealth. Uh, yeah, we should probably. Well, we're. I really wish it wouldn't give me these type of things while I'm already swaying something. Swaying, uh, doing one of these uh, sway missions. Uh, I'm not quite sure the game understands uh, what is a good war to declare, but... Alright, so now that we are a duke, we are actually allowed to have a third minute arms um obviously we don't have the money for it right this second but it's definitely something to start considering unfortunately we are kind of at a point where i don't really want to be expanding too much um because that's just gonna put more stress on our domain holdings and if we're oh Oof. And this uh this king is not doing very well. <laughs> okay. Um let's definitely go ahead and try and sway our mayor vassal guy. Maintenance taken prisoner. Um so it looks like Flanders is getting raided. Uh again, I don't think this is going to matter for us well maybe that was flanders i don't know anyways Siege one war okay that was a pretty quick war oof rip uh prince carol man. Okay, um, could go ahead and search for another position. I, I still don't understand why it gives me pop-ups when it's not happening in my lane. It's happening in someone else's. Not, it's not, um... Me or my vassals. Okay. So, let's see here. We, our daughters are both fairly, um, are probably ready to start marrying. 
I know, unfortunately, that is kind of the, you know, thing you gotta do. Um, let's see if there's any matrilineals. Duchy of Anjou. Who? I'm guessing this is like the... Wait, is this... This is our cousin. Okay. Pretty sure this is the brother of this duchess. Um, all right. Interesting. This sounds like a Welsh place. Yeah. Um, only problem with this one is that they're there's a risk of them being inbred, and honestly, based off of the way my cousin looks, <laughs> oh, not sure if that's really worse, eh, worth uh, risking you now. <laughs> um, not Marshall. Uh, I suppose we can still stick with matrilineal. We can try and spread our uh, houses, or our house, uh, compassionate, vengeful, generous, honest, vengeful. What is our daughter? Temperate, gregarious, rowdy, calm, sadistic. Ugh. And also kind of like, you know, keep it within a reasonable range. Obviously, not, uh, you know, really what the, what this game's about, but, like, come on. You really want to be marrying your 15-year-old daughter to some 40-something gross asshole? Think of it like that. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to be... Having our child marrying that. Um, I don't think we care about any of this other stuff. Um, he Rethel. This is, yeah, this is matrilineal. So, matrilineal means that who, that the, uh, the children will take the mother's name. So, the children born from these two will take Robertine as the name, as their uh, house name. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, that's our daughter, our eldest daughter, I should say. Um, go and take a look. At other potential suitors. Uh, let's let's go ahead and wait a little while. We might find something different. All right. Probably figure out where this Rethel place is. Oh, actually, up here. That's not bad. That's, uh, relatively close. Okay. This kid ever end up getting... Not really. Counselor has died. Oh no. Alright. Our 
the Countess. Um, e... You completely suck at almost everything. Except for, except for uh, being a spy master. You get rid of this mayor. Um, so she's not really going to like us that much because we were at war. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can improve relations with her. I mean, we did kind of kick out her sister. <laughs> so. Let's see. So, er, this guy is still technically the king. Um. I mean, I'm pretty content where we are at the moment. Not Eve comes of age for her. She has gained the trait astute and intellectual. Nice. Um. Yeah, I would say that's fine. So, let's see. And, uh, I think this guy. Yeah. He's he's third in line. So he doesn't really have any good... So he's not very close to the uh the throne at all. Okay, so undisciplined recruits. Today I'm in I am observing Mayor Ingel Ingelger as he trains some of his new levies. But the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushed to his limit. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he seriously needs to do better than teach him what I know about command. Alright, so his martial skill will increase um, if he, you know, agrees. This guy, he, he doesn't hate us. Um... Cheer him up after the training is over. Grow closer. Or chastise him for his failure. Uh, I'm thinking either one of these two, personally. Uh, keep the guy open. Advice accepted. Excellent. Full Mayor Engelger over to one side while his recruits attempt to continue their training. Key thing with training new soldiers is instilling discipline, I tell him. Without that, you will be unable to depend on them to follow your orders. Where I finish, uh, he thanks me before strolling back onto the field where he quickly takes control of the situation. Excellent. And we got a new perk, Sappers. Uh, so this allows our archers to be useful in sieges.
Again, I'm not entirely sure how much warfare we're going to be doing with this guy at this point. Um, I don't think we really want to be forming any more duchies. Obviously, it does help centralize things a little more. Um, but we're not going to be able to hold multiple duchies after we die. They're going to get split. Like, different duchies are going to go to different people. So, I don't know what the best strategy is for that. Again, I'm also learning the game a little myself as I go. Alright. Demonstration of leadership by Marshall Mayor Mitchell. Uh, Matthew, I'm guessing is how you say it, has been hovering around my council late. Uh, knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him. Pretty sure we had the same thing with our father. Probably engage him in conversation, on the other hand. It might be better for him to simply see me interacting with my man. There is something to be said for at least pretending to know every vulture's face. Yeah, we definitely had this event already. Um. I would say, let's take that one. Martial experience would be official. Alright, what was this? So, uh, building cost. Building, okay. Well, we might want to consider improving this. I'm really hoping that this one will get so many things open. Um, I'm hoping that our heir will get this one. Alright. The Great Duelist. My vassal has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and a hunger for vengeance. He tells me that my daughter Eve has been running rampant running rampage all over Montbard. Montbard? Where's Montbard? Uh, anyways. Your girl fan uh, fancies herself a duelist. She turned up at my doorstep and challenged me in front of everyone. I had no choice but to accept this is not the first time either, um, but the last in a long line of victims. Duels will cease at once. I'm guessing this is because she's like... Nah. Not even like rowdy anymore. Um, so we could either increase opinion of our Vassal and knight. Dangerous pastime. Means aspiring blade master. Well, this is kind of an odd thing to have for someone who, you know, can't really um, do this type of stuff. Ah, your father will show you how it's done. Um... I don't really want to be fighting my daughter. That sounds dumb. And kind of like a bad parent. Um, I will say these duels will cease at once because I do want to increase his opinion. We have plenty of opinion with our daughter. Um, Oh well. Um, I think I need to put a cut in here, but so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.